guys, so this little concept here, uh, I show a lot of guys, this, this works great for MMA. It works great for self-defense. Um, one thing I notice, a lot of times people will get a dominant position, usually mount, and they just, they just start hauling off, right? Now, if I'm in a padded room and I'm wearing big gloves, it's not a big deal. But if I'm in like a self-defense scenario where this is a real life altercation, I'm probably not in a padded room. I definitely don't have gloves on. And I just start hauling away and I miss, boom. I just broke my hand. I just hurt myself a lot worse than this guy can hurt me from here, okay? So the, uh, the, the concept I teach is post and punch, all right? Um, it's very simple. I'm always punching my own hand, okay? I can be dizzy in a dark room and no matter what, I can always punch my own hand. It doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter what's going on. So all I have to do is connect that hand to something. In this case, it's gonna be his throat, okay? So I can grab him by the throat, bang, bang, bang. And then I can switch, bang, bang, okay? If, if I wanna smash his face, I can do the same thing, bah! I can use that as a, a post for an elbow, boom. But posting where I'm punching guarantees that I don't miss, okay? It's very hard for me to post and start swinging, and like just punch in these random places. So it's always here, okay? And this guy's not just gonna lay here, he's gonna react to it, right? So sometimes the hands come up here, that doesn't do him any good, okay? Sometimes he pushes away, that really doesn't do him any good either. And it sets me up for arm bars. If his hands just come up to block his face, I'm, I'm right there for like Americanas and stuff. So it's a good setup for submissions along with just kind of ensuring that I'm not punching anything other than what I really want to punch. Just uh, 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 okay. And this can be used from any dominant position, right? If I'm knee on belly. Now I will say, I generally post far hand, punch near hand, as opposed to the opposite way. Just because like, if I do miss, he bumps, I don't wanna end up on this side of him where he can pick up a single leg. So when I post, I post near side hand, I punch or elbow or headbutt. Don't headbutt, it's, you cut something. Just punch and elbow, ping. I can even, I can even knee, right? Post and knee, boom. Okay, so I, especially on the ground, I'm touching whatever I'm striking. But this concept also works when we're standing, right? So if Jason's up, now I'm not gonna like reach out and do one of these because now my hand's away from my face. But we have dirty boxing, we have like the Muay Thai clinch, right? So when I'm in here, same thing. Whoa, there's my uppercuts, here's my dirty boxing, here's my elbows, bang, bang. Now if I want a headbutt or something like that, I can. Knees, okay, boom, boom. It's the same concept. I'm striking my own hands, whether it's on the ground or whether it's standing. Maybe I lead in, bah, bah, boom, okay. Here's my clinch, bang, here's my elbow, boom, switch, boom, okay. So just think about that, like I said, on the ground, dominant position, I can lock that arm out, put some pressure on him, boom, boom. Standing, <laughs> not such a great idea in general, right? He's gonna come over with a hook or something, but, but I get inside, this is much better for me. Bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs>